GitHub has a serious problem and I didn't really realize this was happening until just recently. In fact, I even went out and kind of validated some of the stuff. I am able to go and buy stars, watchers, followers, forks, all of that. Now, you're probably saying, well, come on, man. Didn't you know this? You can do this on Instagram. You can do all that. Well, the thing about Instagram and why I have less problems with it on Instagram, it's like buying ads. It's like promoting something. Whereas in GitHub, stars and stuff is one of the ways in which I measure if I should use a project or not. There's a trust factor that's associated with it. If I see a post with 10,000 likes, I don't associate trust with that post. Okay, I, I associate something else, virality with the post, some other item. Whereas with GitHub, stars have a more sacred, if you will, meaning. It has a meaning that's set apart from other type of starred items, right? Like if you go to Twitter and you look at how many followers I have, which is, by the way, almost 100,000. Don't forget to follow me. But here's the deal is that this right here, this doesn't mean I'm right. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean that you can trust my opinions more. It doesn't mean you can trust them less. It simply doesn't mean anything other than for whatever reason, people are following me. That's just that. And so GitHub with stars, there's something else about it. When I use a project, I really do consider it. Like if you honestly go in here and go like this, GitHub React, right? Let's look at the Facebook React one right here. And okay, what do we got here? We got uh, 212,000 stars. Okay, let's do this again. Let's go like this, Angular uh, GitHub. Let's look up Angular on GitHub. And so you can see right away that Angular only has 87, uh, 89.7 thousand. So in some sense, React is about three times cooler than Angular. React is probably used three times more by devs. If I were trying to get a job and I knew nothing about the industry, I'd probably use something like forks, stars, and watchers as a way to kind of understand which projects you'd want to put your time into. Yeah, stars are supposed to be telling the truth. So I, I, I when I saw this, it was pretty shocking to see that you can buy stars. And how much are they? So this article is really cool. Uh, Yasin yesterday, uh, him and I talked about this. And apparently, like, he told me, go for it, go talk about all this stuff. But they did quite a bit of research. And uh, him and uh, Alexandra did a lot of research into getting this to work, which is pretty exciting. So check this out. This is super weird. The best and most obvious way to judge an open source project is to look at the code. But this can be the uh, kind of tedious and sometimes you don't like what you see there. Agreed. And well, I mean, is it the best way? You know, again, you get into the whole idea of how someone else programs and sometimes it's super annoying. So I prefer some other litmus test, right? Projects depending on it, all that kind of stuff. Stars, perhaps. So an alternative that we all naturally develop on our own or have been advised to is to see how many people have starred the project and then pick the one with the most stars, which I actually argue is not necessarily a bad way of doing it. I really do think that it's not a bad way to uh, do this. I would have TJ on. I'd love to have TJ on. But unfortunately, TJ is currently flying right now, if I'm not mistaken. If TJ was in here and he says, I'm not flying and I'll join in, of course I'd bring him in. This is a TJ article to the max. Oh, no, no. He's not flying today. He's giving his presentation on using OCaml and NeoVim at Jane Street. TJ, he's a real engineer, like a real one. Uh, for example, React has uh, 207,000 stars compared to Angular's measly 88,000 stars. So we can conclude that React.js is a better framework. Ben Awad, the meat stick is right. The meat stick is absolutely right. Well, the above joke, not that React is a better, no, no, it is a better front-end framework. Uh, it is not a good idea to judge the quality of an open source by how many stars it has. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I think stars generally, besides for the fact that we now know you can buy them, have been a good way to understand two things about an open source project. The person who is working on the project is someone that people like. Let's just be real. If John Carmack right now uploaded a Hello World in C, it would get 10,000 stars. Not because John Carmack did something amazing, but because John Carmack did it. So stars represent some quality behind the authors sometimes. The second thing they do is they just they, they tell you that a lot of people rely on it enough that they go to it enough times to go, oh, I should star this. I want to know what's happening, right? So there's something real there. And so I do not agree with the statement at all. I think stars are or have been a good way to measure some level of quality. How many times have you gazed upon an open source and wondered uh, uh, fabulously about the correlation between the number of stars garnered and the actual value of the project? If it's zero, then you're okay. You're a better person than me. I don't think it's. I don't think you can say this. I think it's fine to do that. But if not, allow me to introduce you to my recent experiments and research. It's likely uh, that this will be the first time you encounter with this bizarre market. Well, I 
discovered it yesterday and now I'm seeing this. Yep, that's a thing. You can buy stars. Just purchase them like Instagram likes is a known used marketing technique. Buying GitHub stars is equally tangible. I do agree with that. That buying stars, you can greatly shift how people view your project, even though it's a lie, right? It could be a complete lie. Let's go buy. I actually pick. I was actually going to buy some stars to see how well it works. Um, but I'm going to be real here for a second. When you go on YouTube and you watch a video and it promotes a specific GitHub library, in a sense, they're buying stars. They are. They're buying stars from you because what they're doing is they're getting you to visit it. Okay? It is real. It is true. You're still buying stars when you get someone to sponsor your project. And so this is just a more gross way of doing it. But is it really much different? Like, is it that much different? The only difference is that there's real people. But are they really real people or are they just NPCs at the end of the day? And what I mean by NPCs, I, I really do mean this, is that you just go and star it because you like whatever person said it right you're you you are starring something because somebody else said to not because you're actually liking the thing it's called marketing yeah of course it's called marketing but i'm just trying to like argue in my head if it's real right because there's i mean this is the gray areas how evil is this star buying versus getting someone who has software credibility to promote your project because let's just face it if i was to go on twitter and i were to tweet drizzle om is absolutely fantastic please go check out their github and link it they're going to get some level of stars simply because I said the thing, right? Not because it's real, not because what they're doing is actually good. It's because I said it. It makes you an NPC. Are you any more real than these other people? Be right back, starring Drizzle. I, I just used him as an example. We just got done doing that. Uh, can you buy likes on Netflix? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that's how it works. That'd be a really bad idea if you bought likes on Netflix. Likes aren't for the show. Likes are for your taste. They're for us to show you the right thing. Uh, I, I, I start all your repos, Daddy. You just going to call me an NPC? Hell yeah, big. You're nothing but an NPC, baby boy. Popularity does not equal quality. Well, sort of. Sort of, right? All right, premium stars. Bear with me. I know you're thinking, what the hell? There are different types of stars? Yes, there are. Premium stars are the kind that is much more expensive, the most legit looking and most notable, or no, uh, let's see, and most notable, believe. Uh, those stars have a higher chance of staying over the long term. I put on incognito mode and started hunting using my second identity, Boogeyman, uh, or Bogeyman as some people call it. So he bought stars, 25 premium GitHub stars for $20. That's pretty expensive. So it cost me 20 euros. I, I, oh yeah, you're right. Those are 20 fake dollars. Those aren't United States Freedom Units. Those are some other kind of thing. I don't know what those are, but those aren't real. Uh, which uh, which is about 0.8 fake units per star. It, it's expensive. Not that you deduct, let's see, not if you deduct it from your taxes. Why couldn't you, right? You could imagine a company deducting it from their taxes because they're just doing it as part of marketing. It's a marketing expense. But I'm going to show you how they look like in a minute. It took six hours for my order to complete, and the accounts look legit. Each have a profile picture. Look at this. Look at those pictures. Like, look at this person, co-founder of JS for Girls. Like, they they may even be impersonating real people here. Crazy, crazy. Each profile picture, different companies they work for, and a couple repository and contributions to one or more open source projects next to being a GitHub member for over a year. Yeah, it looks legit. You wouldn't even notice. Cheap stars. Whenever you see premium goods, remember, the bargain uh, bin isn't far behind. Probably me. Real. Uh, there was also cheaper options like this one. Thank you for your order. Hey, uh, Bogey, uh, just to let you know, we've received your order, uh, five, seven, one, do, oh my goodness. If that is an auto incrementing counter, which is what it looks like to me, that's what I'm guessing here. That means there was 57,000 purchases before this. Is that what I'm like genuinely looking at right now? Oh man. Now I want to go, now I want to go purchase some fake stars and see if this, and it, because I think this looks like it could be from, it looks like it could be from this site right here, Batty Shop. Right, it has like the same colors that light uh, orange and white. I should buy, and then I should buy again, and I should see if it is literally an auto incrementing item. Because if that's the case, think about that. Like that really means that l really means that there's been fifty seven thousand people purchasing. This like completely destroys all credibility in GitHub. 
Harpoon is getting some love, huh? I'm actually planning on rewriting Harpoon. I am. I've been planning on a while. I have some ideas to make it much, much better, and then I will never have to touch it again and never answer anybody's problems. I reckon that 57,000 people. You do? You reckon You reckon that it is 57,000? Dude, there's, and it's at a single shop. Oh, dear sweetness, you're right. Depending on the starting number. Fair. Fair, did you notice uh, st uh, slow browsing on GitHub? I don't notice the slow browsing. You could simply uh, be an, uh, let's see, an offset to fake sales. Yeah, it could be. But I want to know. That would be amazing if we can prove there were 57,000 people that bought these stars. I know, dude. It would be, you would at least know that there's some thousands of people. Because if I get a number that's higher than they, how much do you want to bet that this article and me talking about it and other people talking about it is going to make more people buy stars? What if I'm doing the world a disservice right now? What if I'm making the world... Okay, I, I cannot live in a world where somebody else makes the world a better place. Gavin Belsom, the Primogen. I might be that person right now. Now, uh, what's the difference? Well, the biggest one is those brand new accounts. Hold, hold, Bisco, what were you trying to say? Uh, you're a bad influence. I know. What happened if I pull the plug? What happened if I am the bad one? Gavin Belsom, doing it. Uh, they were created at the time of my order. If they don't have any fake personal information or repositories. Okay, so look at this. What do we got here? All right. And after a month, they all got, uh, they, they're they all gone. GitHub detected and banned them. Oh, interesting. 1,002 stars. Three stars. So they did get a bonus star because of that. Oh, I'm putting it on the tubes. Hell yeah. Okay, so it looks like from March 11th to May 9th, they got this. Okay, what's crazy is that you can reach out to them, and they're going to redo your order for free. Detecting fake stars. Now, this is the cool thing. Are you ready for this? This is cool. This, I don't know. How how do you detect fake stars? I don't even, I'm not even sure how you detect fake stars because you'd have to, like, scrape the users, look at when they're created. Oh, okay, they listed all right here. Uh, I discovered an uh, astronomer. Okay, so everybody, go be an NPC and like it. <laughs> I'm an NPC. <laughs> a tool to detect illegitimate stars from bot accounts on GitHub. Uh, it works by fetching data from every GitHub user who starred a repository, then computing how likely it is that those users are real humans by their using their trust algorithm. Uh, let's see. The trust score is computed based on different factors. The average amount of lifetime contribution among stargazers, the average amount of private contributions, the amount of public created issues, the amount of public authored commits, the amount of publicly opened issue pull, uh, pull requests, uh, the amount of public code reviews, the average weighted contribution score, Okay, every fifth percentile from 5 to 95 is weighted uh, contribution score. The average account age, older ones are more trustworthy. Okay, I mean, fair. So I tried Astronomer on three repositories and saw the results. All right, here we go. Fetching uh, 69 users for 2013. Look at this. So we got some A's, we got some B's, we got some C's, some E's down here, some lower trust ones in the lower percentiles. But in the higher percentiles, there's a huge amount that are recommended as trustworthy kind of wild right nice yeah it was nice it was six i mean noise or however he does it uh from the ministry of truth well the thing is is that i'd rather this trust algorithm i don't you know it's funny how they have their trust algorithm and i don't bat an eye at this one you know why because this is an opt-in trust algorithm that i can run on various things to see how trustworthy it is it's much different it github goes we're gonna reduce we're gonna expose the trust algorithm i'd go ew you know it's funny right Depends on the place is how you perceive how trustworthy their trust al algorithm is. All right, cheap stars. Okay, so for the cheap stars, look at that. Look at that. It is fully identifying cheap stars as likely fake. And it's identifying premium stars as likely, like 50% good. Kind of wild, huh? A legit stars as a control check. Fetching, okay. So here we go. Uh, here's legit stars. Look at that. All A's. How wild is that? Buy premium stars for $5 a month. Uh, so that's scary. The premium stars scored decently as a B with the cheap ones resulting uh, in the lowest score E. Who knows? Maybe that's an ultra premium star service uh, that's going to score an A. Maybe. Uh, lesson learned. Uh as you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, you shouldn't judge an open source project by the number of stargazers. As we saw in this article, this is an option that uh, they are not legitimate. It's likely uh, any other social media platform where fake accounts and fake likes exist. Instead, ask your colleagues, your community on Twitter why you should pick this project over another. You uh, could 
can also start a new discussion or create an issue on GitHub asking for people's uh, experiences. If that's not enough, you can review the project's code. Though we all know that's not something we have time and energy for on a daily basis, right? Choosing a high quality open source project can be a challenging task. However, there are key factors to consider when making such a decision. As the guild whole structures created a long-term... Okay, so this is all about these kind of things. I am more curious just about the stars. We don't need to know. I think you guys can all figure out how to do proper things you're looking for, right? I'm sure you guys can figure this out. Now, here's the thing that's really interesting to me. And I, I'm going to put on the tinfoil hat because you know I love a good conspiracy from time to time. Are you ready for my big conspiracy? Run the trust algorithm on Angular repo. We should do that. I'm not going to do it now, but we should. Better question. Can you go to the site and see if the public order status page uh, where T just takes ID order one, two, three. I don't know that one. But that that uh, that is interesting. That is interesting. I could look. We we. I I don't want to explore around right now. But that is something we'd want to play around with. Okay. So here's my big conspiracy that I think you could end up doing. You could theoretically create a project that mirrors some other thing that's useful that people want to use in some ecosystem in which people love using new libraries. JavaScript that has a uh, has an ability to build some native piece of code as part of the installation process. NPM. You could then buy a bunch of premium stars, drive up your star count, do it over time so it looks like it's going up, create a Twitter account, be tweeting about it. Next thing you know, people are opting in and using your open source item. You started creating a movement and then you could do a supply chain attack. Yeah, I was about to say, that's what I was going to end with. A supply, you could literally do like some PSYOP supply chain tack, which is kind of wild because most people don't look at anything. HTMX, HTMX is glorious, okay? HTMX won everything they got due to how prolific a memer the creator is, okay? You don't ever talk dirt about the creator. He, The horse head shitposting language is a real one. You could steal all the Bitcoins, right? Uh downloads uh per week oh that's a good metric that's how we got react buy my credibility for only five dollars a month yeah anyways anyways it's just something i uh, thinking about this is that you could buy influence even if you're not going to do something nefarious with that influence like say supply chain tax you could most certainly use it to gain to gain street cred to effectively jumpstart your career, okay? You do be looking good on that camera. Thank you. Is the Trojan horse uh, designed to destroy the React community? No, the React community is a Trojan horse designed to destroy HTML. We all know this. It's the other way around. Uh, I have seen that HashiCorp is doing this. Anyways, it is very interesting what you could do. It's very interesting what you could do with all of this. Anyways, just something I've been thinking about. I think GitHub has a serious problem. I think that, uh, I think it's really, it's going to be really, really tricky, right? It's going to be really, really tricky because that is, that is kind of gross, right? I made multiple accounts to boost my own stars a year ago and got street cred for my first, uh, job interview. Don't regret it. Somehow this doesn't bother me as much. You did it all yourself. You know, you were, you went off and you did, you did all the things you need to do. Uh, maybe you even wrote like a little script to help really give yourself some track. You're hustling, okay? You did your own thing. Something about you doing it feels different. Um, I don't know. Self-made. We call that a hustle. Yeah, you're not just buying your way in. You didn't pay to play. You hustled to play. And I can respect the hustle, okay? I can respect the hustle. But this is messing with my, uh, with my worldview right now. It is. Uh, I don't know. Or should just put their every everybody in the world should just put their American social security number in their profile for easy verification. Boom, goes the dynamite. The name is GitHub really does have a serious problem because now all credibility has been lost. And I don't know what to do.